All right, here is the pooler that I'm going to be demonstrating today. It is very old. This thing has gone, sat on the bottom in at least two boats that I know of. One time it sat on the bottom on one boat for over a month before that boat got pulled up. So, I mean, this thing is a true survivor. See, what happened was I don't have the room on here for a air-cooled to run a power steering pump which is generally how this thing runs so what I did is I just went ahead and took the took the bottom off of the hydraulic pump that actually is connected to the line cooler and I put this part right here this one is what was actually in there I took it out and I welded it to here to this to this welded it badly I didn't clean it good enough but I mean it holds good I've tried it a little bit and I just got it connected to this power drill and I haven't tested this out yet with a line on it because the first time I tried to do it my inverter was too small for electric but I got a bigger one and I'm getting ready to go ahead and try this out for the first time now got a halfway decent day so I'm gonna go ahead and do it and whenever you're running you're messing around with lines like you always want to wet your line first before you bait it or anything because if it's been in storage like this one has because I mean it'll get all tangled up and with line poolers always use soft lay because what will happen is it just won't fall in the barrel right some people don't have no problems with it but I always have so I'm gonna go ahead and test this thing out for the first time and the way it works is I'll go into I'll go ahead and hook it up now while I'm holding this it's pretty easy to hook up the way I've got it I'm gonna have to cover some stuff so you know the drill doesn't get wet and a couple other things I'll just have this on there like that I mean it's just like a arm I guess and just does that and then so I glass that wood on there kind of like a holder for this drill more or less and that just like goes up in there and then it just kind of locks in like so and then I'm about to put the phone down to do this part but then I put that arm back under there so one second I'll be right back all right so you probably can't hear me but that's what I got I'm going to go ahead and hook it up and see what happens. Alright, Jake Phelps here. This is how you do that. It's mm. going. Did you record me doing my little Jake Phelps impersonation? Wasn't it cute? You mean yes? All right, I'm getting ready to test this thing out. The um, those are my boat stairs I made, but um, the barrel's not right. I don't have the I don't have that figured out yet, so I'm gonna have to figure all that out. For, so I have all the correct barrels. I mean, that's so important. For this stuff. All right, I'm gonna test this thing out real quick. All right, I haven't tried this out since I got that, so go ahead and see what happens here. I mean, sometimes. You know, I've had it where I've had to just throw it in there and make it work while it's going, just whatever was happening. For some reason, that's how I had to make it work. So I can do that, or I can try to feed it first and then turn it on. I'm going to go ahead and do that first. Go ahead and pop it on here and then turn it on. All right, here goes nothing. Oh, I got the drilling for it. <laughs> I was like, oh no. Okay, yeah. And then I got a variable speed pedal. But I hope I can just make it work all the way open. So I don't gotta worry about all that. Because I can just like put a little bit of pressure on it to make it go whatever speed. But we'll see how this goes. Scary. So that's how that went. Alright, <laughs> I'm definitely going to have to go ahead and get that variable speed pedal. I'll be right back. Yep. 
All right, I got the speed pedal now. This is a speed pedal. I'll just turn this on and it's got a switch on it that makes it stay on continuously. And then I can control the speed of it. They had like a little Harbor Freight one that was like with a little knob, but it just it didn't work right. So this is actually from a jeweler's flex shaft. I can turn this on, do that. And then adjust it with this. It's gonna run it slow at first. Um, can you hand me that those blue grip thingies? Alright, feeder on there, pop it in. It works fine if I keep it slow. I'm not used to pulling lines in with a wind or slow. All right, a couple points here. I went ahead and adjusted this, moved it towards me. And it's a whole different ball game when you have bags on here because every time a bag comes through here, it flies out and hits that and then goes down. I've had this thing for a long time, but it works. It's just that. I mean, this thing is super important for a line puller. And not to mention all the all the mud and stuff. I've I had, I'll build another one, just a piece of plywood top that just lays right on top of this. And it's just got like a, like a piece of, um, I don't know, I guess you call it like, it's just, it just comes over like this. So it just plops right on there and stays. And like this little notch holds it in place and all. And the, um, and if you're, if you're, if you're fishing in mud, like if you just run your boat a little faster than your line's pulling and you you let your line in the water like you'll be going you'll let your your line have an arch in it when you're pulling it in and what that'll do is i call it an overboard wash it'll just use it'll be pulling the line up off the bottom and then it'll wash it as it comes around that arch and then comes in here so like if you're in mud and you're pulling like what I'll do is I'll keep it, you know, the line will actually be coming in from like way back there and have an arch in it. So it overboard washes all that mud out. 
But so anyway, that's um that's the uh, first first drive run of this thing. I mean, you know, you really can't get them right until you actually take it out and try it, really. So. I mean, I definitely think it'll work. Um, so yeah, so here's my here's my beta test of my line puller. Thanks for watching. And actually, you know what? Let me see this. And that's how you do that. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.